Famed physicist Stephen Hawking once said, the human race's future is in space. He wasn't being poetic, he was serious. The universe is vast, and our understanding of it remains limited. One mission that truly reflects Hawking's vision is NASA's Voyager program, launched nearly five decades ago. It changed our view of the cosmos and revealed just how much we don't yet know. Believe it or not, the farthest human-made object from Earth is still active. Voyager 1, launched in 1977, not only reached into stellar space, but it still sends signals across billions of miles. Imagine tossing a bottle into a never-ending ocean and still hearing it clink every so often, that's Voyager. Built with less computing power than a calculator or digital watch, it has operated in deep space for over 45 years, still functioning and delivering data. That's nothing short of miraculous. It's on board, technology is older than cassette players. Voyager 1 uses a 20-watt transmitter, roughly the power of a refrigerator light bulb, to send signals across the cold, silent void of space. Every tiny bit of data it beams back is a whisper from the edge of the solar system. And it's still whispering. The Voyager program began thanks to a rare planetary alignment identified by NASA engineer Gary Flandro in the 1970s. This alignment of Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune would allow a spacecraft to use gravity assists to hop from one planet to another, saving decades of travel time. Such an alignment happens only once every 176 years, so NASA acted fast. Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 launched just 15 days apart in 1977. Originally planned as a four-year mission to study the gas giants, the program turned into one of the most remarkable exploratory endeavors in human history. Voyager 1 gave us breathtaking views of Jupiter's great red spot, volcanic eruptions on Io, and the intricate rings of Saturn. Voyager 2 explored Uranus and Neptune, becoming the only probe ever to visit them. It unveiled ice geysers on Triton, magnetic fields on Uranus, and Neptune's violent weather. These discoveries reshaped scientific understanding. We learned that moons can be geologically active, that outer planets possess atmospheres and weather systems, and that the boundaries of our solar system are more complicated than anyone expected. Even the heliosphere, the solar system's protective bubble, was misunderstood before Voyager's data arrived. Each spacecraft had just 69 kilobytes of memory, less than a modern text message. They recorded data on eight track tape recorders and sent it home using massive dish antennas. With primitive software, the probes had to navigate space with near-complete autonomy, avoiding asteroids and cosmic radiation without real-time help. Voyager 1 eventually crossed into interstellar space, beyond a boundary called the Heliopause, where the Sun's influence gives way to the galaxies. Initially thought to be about 50 astronomical units from the Sun, Voyager 1 crossed this invisible line on August 25, 2012. But the transition wasn't as expected. Scientists had predicted a sudden magnetic shift, but Voyager's readings showed that the magnetic field direction stayed nearly the same. This unexpected result puzzled researchers. Some suggested the solar and interstellar magnetic fields may align more closely than assumed. Others proposed that the heliopause might not be a clean boundary, but a fuzzy, dynamic transition zone influenced by solar cycles and external pressures. Either way, it revealed that even our most basic assumptions were flawed. In interstellar space, Voyager 1 detected plasma waves, confirming it had exited the Sun's domain. Yet again, there were surprises. Plasma density wasn't constant, it fluctuated wildly. Instead of a calm sea, Voyager found a stormy interstellar ocean, shaped by ancient supernovae and long-gone stars. The pockets of plasma Voyager detected may be remnants of those stellar deaths, drifting through space for eons. 
Each one tells a cosmic story we're only starting to understand. Voyager also found a new boundary, a zone where solar particles fade and interstellar ones dominate. Understanding this region helps scientists learn how cosmic rays enter our solar system and how stars interact with their surroundings. It's not just space exploration, it's a deeper understanding of our place in the galaxy. Beyond science, Voyager carries a powerful message of humanity. Each craft contains the Golden Record, a gold-plated disc featuring images and sounds from Earth, greetings in dozens of languages, global music, and even a heartbeat. It's our cosmic message in a bottle. Carl Sagan, who helped lead the project, once said, the launching of this bottle into the cosmic ocean says something very hopeful about life on this planet. That hope is still floating 14 billion miles away. Today, Voyager 1's radio signals take over 22 hours to reach Earth. Its power, generated by slowly decaying radioisotope thermoelectric generators, is fading. But engineers continue to reroute systems, turning off non-essential functions to keep the mission alive. With luck, Voyager could send Theta until 2026, nearly half a century after its launch. This isn't just a tale of engineering, it's the story of human curiosity. Edward Stone, Voyager's longtime project scientist, calls the mission a gift that keeps on giving. Whatever it is, it proves that Voyager's story is far from over. Subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.